little bit of everything for your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yeah, and speaking of the holidays, if you're hosting a Christmas dinner, do you have your table planned out? If not, we have some ideas. Sue from Thornberry Cottage joins us now with some ideas that include dishes you might not know what to do oh. with. Hi, Sue. Good morning. How are you today? We're great. You know, I understand you have some neat ideas that it really won't cost us a whole lot. No, you know, a lot of times you get to the holidays and you think just red and green, burgundy and green, but that's not usually what we have in our cabinets right now, and it's the last thing you want to spend money on. So I brought today some dishes from my grandma um, that I've inherited that I thought, sure, we can make Christmas dinner with these. And so we've done a nice formal setting with them. Um, as you can see, a lot of pink, not your traditional thoughts for the holiday, but we can make that work just wonderfully for a Christmas table in a formal setting. So first of all, I've taken just some burgundy napkins I put them together a little bit loosely instead of real formally like you might see with a dish with a gold edge. Um, in this case, I've done an antique cordial glass in the clear crystal. I've just added a little bit of rock salt. Um, you could even use water softener salt. And then just tucked a little piece of sugar fruit. This is artificial from the store, but if you didn't want to do that, you could play with some pieces that you had at home and just practice sugaring them a little bit ahead. In this case, I've just taken a gold bowl and tucked it onto the stem of this to add just a little bit more festiveness. The, the true test of, of the plates is to look for a, a color that's in them that you think might pull out a holiday theme that you could work with. And in this case, we had a little bit of gold and just a touch of burgundy in the background of these plates, and that's what I chose to use. So if you have enough room on your table to go with a little bit larger table setting and centerpiece, you could take these off and incorporate a different piece in the center of your table. Here I've got an antique looking cake plate and I'm going to just put that in the center. A couple different sizes of pillar candles. This is where it's nice to always keep just plain basic ivory in the house because everything works with that. And about a yard of ribbon and, and then a gold ribbon. Something with the wire is the easiest for someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with this to work with it. It's pretty forgiving. Just kind of tuck that into the center. And I've used artificial green, but you could go outside on your shrubs and just pull a little bit of greenery off with a snip. Doesn't take much to just add a little bit of holiday festiveness to the table. And Sue, so we're just but, about out of time. Could you show us how it, you finish it off? Yep, just a little bit of sugared fruit into the center. And you've got a great table setting that makes any dish work. It's beautiful. Thank you for the great ideas. So